Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on part of what part of the world you are in. This is Big Girl Diary, and in Entry 7, I'm going to talk about Jada Pickett-Smith and her alleged um, entanglement with underage men or boys. So, stay tuned. More to come. A lot has been happening since um, the issue with Harvey Weinstein and his behavior, Kevin Spacey and his behavior, R. Kelly and his behavior. Now, I think Hollyweird and the entertainment business is just starting to blow up. Everything that was hidden is starting to come out. So. On the one hand, that's a good thing. You got to clean up that 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 stuff in there. And my opinion, children should be sh safe. Safety. <sighs> There's a lot of ugliness coming out, and um, it's coming out in full force. So you know, just prepare because a lot more is coming. This is just, in my opinion, the tip of the iceberg. However. I digress. Now, um, Jada Pinkett, Pinkett Smith um, allegedly, and I say allegedly, had a relationship with an underage boy, um, according to Daz Dillinger, uh, back when she was 22, this was some years ago, with Chris McDaddy Kelly. Uh, from the uh, rap group Criss Cross, Chris Kelly. And um, he he um, made that claim of her entanglement with a 15, 14-year-old boy. Whoa. Um, parents, where are the parents? Oh, my God. Okay. And he also, um, and, and he also, uh, this was with an interview with um, SandraRose.com. Uh, and I'll leave um, the link below in, in the description box. I have a couple of different sources, so that would be down there. Uh, now, it's interesting because in this article it says that uh, Jada Pinkett Smith uh, coined the term entanglement. Uh, when she was brought on the uh, red carpet with um, Will Smith when he confronted her about her uh, relationship with August Alsina, which I'm horrified. Um, I was hoping that that wasn't true. I was hoping that that was made up, that she would actually have a relationship with her son's friend. I'm, I'm just, ooh, that takes chills down my spine. I mean, it just, your child's friend, that, that, th there, there is so many red flags and, and issues just with that alone, your child's friend. And I don't know how August, August was what, 17, 18, 19, I'm not quite sure. But, and then on top of that, he had his own issues, as they stated, his own mental health issues, which he was very vulnerable. And that's how you help him? By getting him in a, alleged, I'm trying not to get upset. You know, it just takes me back to my son when he was 17. And he told me he was seeing this girl, this woman that was 24 and with a child. And I was like pouring her out because I, I was ready to whoop some cash out on the street. Nah, uh-uh. You go find a man, leave my boy alone. That's sick. So, um, you know, parents, we need, we need to start doing more of your due diligence and just stop letting your children run wild and see who they're dealing with because there are 
um, adults, men and women who will prey on on young people, especially underage people for whatever reason. And then the young people want to jump out there as they're adults, act like adults, pretend to be adults. But when it comes to the reality of being an adult, then they revert to a child because it's too much. But, you know, um, parents, stop letting, you know, you're not doing your job. And um, as far as uh, Jada Pinkett Smith, I, I have no words for you. Your son's friend. Just the layers of that. And then, allegedly, now, if this is true, because my niece and I listened to Criss Cross and my niece used to wear her pants backwards the way they used to saying, jump, jump, jump. Yeah, that, that was a good song. But, you know, if that's true, what's wrong with you? 14? Zero boundaries. It's like you have none. If this is true. And you did this to a 14-year-old child? I don't know what to say. And I'm trying hard not to pass judgment. I'm trying very hard not to pass judgment on something that is an allegation. Allegedly, it happened. Allegedly, if this happened, there's a lot of something's... We get touch with reality. But then again... Holly weird, they do things on a completely different level. And thinking back on what um, Corey Feldman said about all the pedophiles that were there, I, you know, Corey Feldman and I, we are near the same age. God bless his soul. And Corey Haim, just, damn, really? Mm, mm, mm. When my son told me he was dealing with that 24-year-old woman, I'm telling he stayed clear to her because I'm, I, I was ready on some mama bear time. I was going to whoop some cash. That's some twisted stuff. But, um... <laughs> I really have no words. I, it just, just this interview with, um... With the rapper Daz Dill uh, Dill Dillinger, I, you know, I, um, damn, Will Smith, oh, the children, oh my goodness, wow, 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 okay, um, I'm starting to get emotional and upset and teed off and Actually, teed off. Let me drink a little bit of tea on this one because it's some wild stuff. I have no words. <laughs>